What is going on guys? It's Dakota from Decalwell Photography and we're going to be starting off the year with something brand new. We're going to be doing some food photography. No one in here is a certified chef or anything, so we're gonna be working with something simple for our food photography. Our first go at it, some pancakes, uh, add a couple pieces of fruit to it, maybe some walnuts, and yeah, we're really hoping to get some great shots. We're going for kind of moody looking photos with the food photography. I love like my moody portraits, so I'm gonna to try to translate that into my food photography. Uh, I want to use just natural light for this, but we'll see because we're always fighting light in Wisconsin and uh because it's the winter time so we'll see if we need to switch to artificial light aka flash or we could just stick it out with the little time frame that we do have before it gets dark um, right now we're shooting on the ultra s21 from samsung just taking it back to our roots man y'all that have been around since the beginning know that we used to record our videos on cell phones so uh, just taking it back for the first video. I want to go ahead and take us to a vlog style part of the video We're gonna go to at home where we went and kind of looked and uh, found some extra plates and other props that we could have used for the photo shoot So hey, thank you guys enjoy the video and I'll check you at the end side of the store now currently just looking for some things to add to our food photography like some different props and whatnot uh, I'm looking for a pour like a syrup glass as well as maybe like some cool looking like plates and silverware so we'll see found some bunch of different cool plates and whatnot uh, these little boards actually go with the theme like so the duo boards that I have from v flat world they actually are brown excuse me they're gray uh then the other side is like black so i really think something like this would go with it i'm going for like a moody look for the photos for the food photos so um we're gonna keep looking and see this might be cool to use what are you trying to have on here just pancakes or waffles yeah and then like the uh like the little blueberry raspberry or whatever um like that yeah and then um like the little syrup container maybe Bork. i was also looking for like a cool little jar that would uh constitute uh maybe put like like the walnuts inside of it okay so i was also thinking i personally hate like all of the coffee montages on youtube i feel like that is like super oversaturated that's just a me thing so don't attack me in the comments but i was thinking getting like maybe a little glass or so showcase maybe even a smoothie uh, I was thinking a little bit of a thinner flute than this, but this is actually pretty decent size. Uh, we'll see how, we'll look around, see what else we can find. I uh, I really actually like this DJ Osmo 5. Uh, the only thing is that the app that goes with it, I don't think it's compatible with my Galaxy Ultra uh, 21, but like the expandable selfie stick I think is really cool. Uh, it just feels like the three that we bought when we first started our YouTube channel. So uh, this whole vlog style right now, it takes me back to when we first started just using our cell phones and going out and just creating regardless of what type of gear we have. So um, I like this a lot. I might do a lot more of these. You guys let me know in the comments what you think in terms of like the vlog part of this video, if you enjoy it or not. And uh, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. She found the clearance aisle. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm finding towels that's not on the list. I see they're yellow. I'm gonna get two. <laughs> Alright y'all. As you can see, we're in like miscellaneous aisles, so we're gonna get up out of here. Uh, next part of the video, we're gonna be jumping into the kitchen to actually make the food here. Probably get some cool little B-roll shots. Gonna be working with the A74 and the 105. 
Sigma macro lens. So I'll see y'all back in the kitchen. So we got an assortment of fruit going on here. Um, we're probably going to use the blueberries and we have another tray for blackberries. Kia did a fantastic job on these pancakes here. Um, so we're going to kind of plate right now, kind of garnish some stuff around the pancakes and then bring it over to our duo boards to then start uh, getting everything ready for some moody pancake pictures. No. <laughs> this is the... <laughs> Everything isn't perfect, y'all. Uh, the pancake at the top, it was a little, uh, what's the word we were using, Kia? Um, uneven. Yes, it was a little uneven, so we have to even it out just a little bit so that our stuff isn't falling off like you just saw in the last clip. So those food photographers that y'all watch on YouTube, like, they make this look really, really easy. But of course, that comes with years of practice. I like it. What do you think? Sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it work. Let's just hope it doesn't fall. We carry the plate over to the actual boards. We maybe should have did that over. Cut. <laughs> so we pretty much have everything plated here i am shooting the photography on the sony a7 IV with the sigma 105 macro lens every shot that you saw in the kitchen b-roll wise was filmed with that combo as well we're on my manfrotto tripod and then of course we have our beautiful pancakes blueberries blackberries we got a little bowl of syrup here a little couple little couple a couple of utensils uh then i have like a, my powdered sugar somewhere around so um, I really like this whole setup here. I'm going to try to get some moody shots with uh, natural light without having to introduce flash because this is much easier. Okay, so we're going to be shooting, of course, against the window light. Uh, it's going to be coming in this way past the camera. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just framing up my shot here. We just have something simple. We just have our plated uh, pancakes with the blueberries and blackberries, and then we just have our syrup container in the background. And I'm just getting some candid shots. This uh, background is pretty awesome. So I'm going to attempt the pour shot right now, um, get our pancakes some more life and color to it. What I'm doing, I'm making my shutter speed really fast, especially now that I'm working with dimly lit natural light. Um, probably going to go 1 over 640 right now. I might need to bump it up, but that means now that I'm not using artificial light, my ISO is extremely high or at around 4,000. So we'll see if we can reduce a lot of that in post. Um, but again, first time for everything, we're just testing out some things. Um, I feel that a lot of folks apologize like on YouTube for like messing up at certain things that folks do, but there's no right way to do photography. Like you're literally just experimenting and testing things out until you get it right. So, and that was what we're gonna do right now. So let's get started. Pour a little bit heavier. <laughs> 